Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. My name is British Brant. Today, we are continuing our runs, trying to do all the torches on the Infernal Vitrin. We are on Bastard's Beacon, Act 2, Resentment. And this is the team that we have picked so far. We have ourselves a Ravager Hellion, Vanguard Mana Arms, Surgeon Plague Doctor, and Sharp Shot Highwayman. Uh, we did start with quite a few good trinkets from the uh, uh, working fields. We've got the Greater Sharpness Charm. Mortal Ward, and a Snappy Swig, which are all very good trinkets. We also got the Collector Chandelier. Don't really care too much for that. Let's go ahead and put the Bastard's Beacon on. If you don't remember what the Beacon does, this makes all enemies ordained. It also makes Lair Bosses ordained, and it gives Confession Bosses unique buffs, as well as increasing the chances for Wandering Bosses to spawn in as well. So right now we're discussing uh, which Lair Boss we'd like to go fight. I would like to take an early Lair Boss as it's going to set us up for the most success. Does increase our chances of finding the Collector greatly, but I think this team can handle it. And I think we decided that we're going to take on the General. And we're going to go ahead and swap out the Bounty Hunter for the Mana Arms. Um, I think this will be our best bet right now. So let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. That's rough. That is a rough, rough roll for us to get. On Bounty Hunter. Um, damn. Hey, comrade. How's it going? Oh, that's the RNG gods coming at us right there. Uh, Gonzalez, I'm going to go ahead and... Because uh, you did redeem earlier. You can be my, my fragile Bounty Hunter. Um, yeah, that's not great for us, for sure. Comrade, hope you're doing well, bud. But we'll make it work, I'm sure. Uh, does anybody have any speed comparable enough to get value out of that? Probably not. Uh, he does have kill lists, so if we can get killing blows before we get to the, the boss, we'll be able to kind of get his damage up pretty high. Um, we're going to go for the tick. Uh, a lot of people have told me that that's the best, one of the best items to get for this Bastard's Beacon, just so you can, like, power down the bosses effectively. So I don't know how valid that is, but we'll see. As far as things to go for from here, we could go for the speed if we wanted to. Um, to get, but even with the speed, we wouldn't get anybody up to the speed we needed for the uh, for Snappy Swig to take act like to activate. So that's maybe not the best option for us right now. Dodge could be okay. Distracting Dust can be really strong, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and grab that. And toss that on him. We're going to hold on to Snappy Swig, right? I guess we can. T it doesn't hurt us to have it, so we might as well put it on just in case we can somehow get the speed there. Do we have anything that's going to help us getting the speed there, actually? Like any books? No, we don't. I'm going to grab uh, Linseed Oil. This is going to be a great option for us. And also Death Cap Spores. I think these are going to be really potent for us against this boss. I'm glad that we were able to see that those were there. Let's go ahead and get everybody feeling pretty good here. At least we'll get the health back up. We'll go ahead and toss the tick on. It cannot fight. But I'm not going to put the collector chandelier hold. on. Well, it doesn't affect. It's not bad to put it on now. Well, OK, it, it depends. If we put this on and then we get like an early lair, this is going to cause the collector to spawn much higher. For in fact, I'm dropping it. I'm not going to. Nope, I'm not going to. Not going to do it. Mastery. Uh, I did get rid of our primary stress heal by moving him out. So that that is a thing that has now happened. Have to keep that in mind. I think IS is going to be a pretty good early thing for us. And then probably and Grape Shot Blast could be really good to just chip damage down. But let's uh, let's just go with Wicked Hack. All right, I'm a little I'm a little spooked right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not super stoked with how we're looking, if I'm going to be honest. Take the guild in mind, maybe, and just toss this on somebody. Um, this doesn't, it's not something we want to mess with right now. All right, let's go for it. Who needs stress heal versus general? Yeah, right. Randy knows what's up. How you doing, Randy? Hope you're doing well, man. All right. Let's figure out where we're going. Okay, Lair is at the end, right? So, what is Ordain Enemy? Uh, an Ordain Enemy has, they have buffs that increase their damage, health, speed, ability to deal dots, and then depending on the act, they get some um, unique buffs as well. Uh, so, like, on this act, I think they can burn, I believe. 
Kyrogen is interesting. The problem is it completely locks us out, so we can't go that way. We want to take fights, and we want to try getting killing blows with the... Um, with the bounty hunter as much as possible to spam up uh kill list as, as much as we can is how in a revelry she does yes so we have some stress healing it's just not amazing i didn't can somebody please remind me to uh change the um Change the abilities on the bounty hunter. Thank you. I mean, it doesn't get any more end of July than what we've got right now, right? So, seems like it. Ah, they all resisted that. Yeah, so Ordainment, if you guys don't know what Ordainment is, this is Ordainment. So, on spawn ability to apply burn that's unique to this act uh, otherwise it's plus 40 percent max health plus two speed plus 40 percent max stat or just damage increased chance to deal dot and more dot duration dealt so we're at six dot right now which is lovely love that for us A breakthrough. that's some pretty good damage though right there definitely say that yeah and everybody gets ordained because of this torch so Scariest ordainments. This is 10% chance for random. Yeah, the random crits definitely, uh, definitely get pretty gnarly pretty quick. All problems have their solutions, even the big ones. Ow. Well, that's not good. We're already feeling pretty damn rough right now. Yeah, this is not good. I'm kind of wishing I didn't take Bounty Hunter right now, to be entirely honest. I don't think I've gotten any kills on him either, have we? One, we've gotten one kill. Of course, that one does too. Okay, he's gonna do hip shot, which is gonna do very little damage, so he's gonna eat that one. But try to recover some of our health here as much as we can. This will heal her. I was hoping that corpse would stay. I, I wanted to hit the corpse so I could get both of them to heal, but we'll deal with it. It's fine. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Yeah, we do have road healing, so you know it's not the end of the world, right? We will survive, I suppose. Oh, yes, thank you. Change bounty hunter skills. I appreciate that. Okay, let's think about what we want for him. Collect bounty. Finish him. Uppercuts. Come hither. And bodyguard. Bodyguard would be good. Batea abusing his mod stats every day. That's that's Batea every day. Plus 40 torch and food for free? Yeah, we'll take that. All right, we have to stick to the right here. At least it should be. So, fortunately, we have to go for the question. I say unfortunate. We don't know what it is. It's an oasis. That's probably good for us. I say that's probably good. It's very good for us. We do need stress healing, and this will hopefully give us an item that allows us to stress heal a little bit. Bodyguard is niche. It's niche until you're about to get hit by stirring soil on the general fight, and somebody's going to die because of it. So it's, it's good for what I need it to do, which is to take the damage for somebody. It fills the role of the Man-at-Arms who left as well. 
Uh, yep, yeah, he also wants to take the items, so that's good. We do get the healing item there. We'll go ahead and split the, uh, oops, wrong button there. Uh, it's, what, X, right? Yeah, we'll split the stack there, and then we'll get the stack on a couple people. Alright, again, we have to stick to the right here, just because of the... I'll probably try to go for the creature den, uh, just so that way we can get... Um, we need to get Vengeful Kill List on him, right? If we can get up to, like, an additional 20% damage on him, that will be very, very helpful. Uh, and the Creature Den is going to be a good way of us doing that. If we can just kind of focus the kills on the, uh, the Bounty Hunter. Lurking well I game. Alright, comrade. Thank you very much for the lurk. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, we'll take the fight. We're not getting any negatives on our relationships or positives just because Bounty Hunter is kind of eating everything up, so... Which is fine by me. Infectious, yikes. Yeah. The uh the bleed extra is gonna be rough here for sure. Um This won't kill him, will it? There's there's that part where I'm like, man, do I like wait out damage to get the bounty hunter to kill? Do I spread damage out? Like it's generally not a good idea. How survivable can I be on this? Master skills? I don't know. I mean, it, it is what it is. 8 to 12. I'd have to crit for that to kill. Again, that won't kill either. 6 to 10, 8 to 12. Ugh. He's going to get kills eventually, just not for a little bit. go ahead and let her eat some of the damage here. This is really risky what I'm doing right now. This is not how I recommend playing this normally. I'm basically... Fuck, of course the strike is. I'm basically distributing damage, like... In, and it's not, it's not the way to play this game. Like, two of these guys should already be dead. And I'm look how much health I'm risking right now just to land a, land a few kills here. To get some additional damage. Ugh, I don't know. This is probably not... I'm going to... I say I'm going to kill. I did not. That's just good. Um, They can both hit her, so we'll just go for this. This is such a high DPS team as well. Like, if any of them lands, like, a crit 15 or something, it's really going to put us in the red. Thankfully, she's got her self-heal, so she'll probably be able to get herself up here. Hey, the Lord, man. Welcome on in. Thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it. In this that won't be a kill. Can this damned. kill? It can. Oh, come on, dude. Roll anything that's not All low. Oh, fuck. All right. Dalliance await those Thank you very much for the Prime as well. Holy crap. In hand. Very much appreciate that. This is not good, guys. I shouldn't have done this. Probably going to have to bodyguard her at this point. Just to stop her from getting hit down way too far. And then heal her up here. Did you on YouTube? I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we can rock us here. All this just to get, like... A few myotas of additional damage, Littering right? Gold. Thank Trinkets you for the bit. I appreciate it. Mariner, that's very kind of you. Paid for in blood. This is this is bad. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. Yes, there is a game giveaway going on in the Discord if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um Definitely check that out. Incremental, but deadly all the same. That one's gonna die now, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, this is that's really what it boils down to right now. So I'm just I'm just assuming that the damage is just is just worth it. It sucks to do this to myself, but I kinda have to. Could 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 the blind like prop one time maybe? Like that'd be great. Uh, finish him. There we go. So I 
I gave him what? An additional 6% damage or something like that? That plus 12% damage. That's good. That's not bad at all. We're going to go for the creature den. We don't really have any choice. We have to go for the creature den. Now, my heals here in the creature den, I I cannot let my team get down that low again. Like, I I just kind of have to go for it. Um, we should definitely... I don't want to waste these items, per se, but we should take everything in here just to... Analysis is rough shape already. Eh, it's just early. Like, this is the kind of thing with bastards... Well, this, again, a really bad team. I might just get some kills here. I, I think I just have to go for kills. Um... Still cannot kill with this. It's crazy. Oh, this is rough. Oh, we did get the kill. Okay, great. I would love to get more kills about Bounty Hunter, and we're going to try to, but, uh, you know, I've got to... Got to mitigate some of the damage coming in. Oh, Hellion's going to die. Or not. Man, that was... That's just fucking great. Yeah, the damage that these guys can put out, especially being ordained, is just nutty. But there's another kill for us. That's great. Uh, we'll double tap off the block tokens. Yeah, ordained tangle is nutty with the damage. It really is. We adrenaline rush here. We've got to keep our health up as much as we can. Um, we get another big heal here with the, the double weakness tokens. That's good. These guys are smart, man. They, yep. They're smart. They will focus somebody. That is how they do it. Uh, we can toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which is good. That'll, that'll be fine for us. See if we can get somebody down here. Toe-to-toe -to -toe will heal us and also just force the damage into... We'll do that as well. Death Soul Recovery. That, I mean, DD Recovery isn't really that big a deal in this... In this game, right? So it's not as bad. We get some stuns going. So it's hard to stun these guys in general. Oh, the oozes. Aspen, thank you much for the five months. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank, thank you. How you doing, Aspen? You got the double vulnerable there, which is awesome to see. Um, okay, go for that shot. Get him down the death door. Get the heal here from toe to toe. Also the taunts, so she can take the damage. Then we'll get the kill on him. She's going to take one hit. Um, yeah, we get the, the heal here. 16, that's good. How's it doing this? Five months of DD, that's a lot. It is a lot. A lot of designated driving. So tired. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's it's been sounding like you've had a lot going on. Got another, another little heal here. Uh, I do not want that person going to... Um, I don't want to bleed them. I just want to get them the death door. And then let the... Uh, thank you for the, the bit again, Mariner. I very much appreciate it. Foreign blood. Yeah, we're no longer healing off of that, but that's okay. All right, another kill here. We settle for now all the paperwork. All of the paperwork, never-ending paperwork. It never ends. That's why it's never-ending paperwork. Yeah, Mariner's being an absolute chad of all the bits. All right, what are we up to now on Bounty Hunter? 21% additional damage, right? So we're, we're at the point where we're getting some pretty hefty, like, hit damage increase here. Uh, whatever we can get in the creature den is going to be great for us, but I'm not going to push it if we if we get to a risky spot. Your is he no, no, no. Feel, feel, dude, how dare you give me money? I, I want you to give me money in a different way. No, fuck. Dude, do what, do what you want. I appreciate it. Uh... Uh... 
Um... Maybe instead of bodyguard, we do stare down. Nah, well. No, I like this. Hey, Elias, how's it going? Welcome on in. Alright, we're gonna take the fight. This is gonna be risky for us. All ordained. Fuck. So fucking bad, guys. Oh my god, what a fucking Giga Chad. He's actually the most cracked thing that ever lived. Order sushi, one less thing to do. Sushi! Sushi's great. 41 crit there, amazing. Oh, the speed, man. Fucking Ordaemon is so bullshit. We proc the blind, so miss. Ah! Sorry, I got I gotta kill here. I I can't not. I can't just uh, spread it out that much. This uppercut of the spider, yes, I sure did. I'll do it again. Ugh, I'm I'm playing so risky here. We're gonna run out of heals pretty quick, you know? Hey, he's resisting a lot of the blights, though. Fucking absolute chungus over here. Yeah, we're doing beacon. And right now, I'm trying to milk Bounty Hunter for every iota of, uh... Every iota of, uh, kill list I can get out of him. Yeah, it's not the most fun situation to be in, but we're we're doing it. Who spotty take mana arms? Don't care. We take it. Okay, this isn't maybe as worse, but it's not great either. I'm entirely honest. Bro, why is their natural crit rate so unfucking realistically high? Well, is no time to falter. I love how Ordainment doesn't affect crit rate, but it fucking feels like it does. An 
interminable conflict. I don't know, man. I don't think I I think we're gonna lose somebody here. I really do. I gotta I just gotta start killing things. I can't even risk it. God, the blind man. Yeah, I gotta start killing shit. I I can't not kill things here. Oh, he's got more reward. Forgot about that. There remains a foothold. Annoying that that takes the crit there, but. Now climb. Did he come aboard? No, I gave it to him. We do have robbery. It'll only take the block tokens, though. If uh, what Zero said was true. Let's just test it. Two positive tokens. Yep. Okay. At least you can kind of tell now. Like, now I know that I can at least kind of tell which ones it's going to take, right? Which I think is important to know. Nope, it's not. Not according to Zero. And since he's the guy working on the game, I'm going to take his word for it. It's, uh, it's, for, it's first in, first out. It doesn't prioritize block. It prioritizes first in, first out. So because the block is on the left, it's the token that generated first. Really not good on our Ravager Hellion, right? Like. Gotta love the worms, yeah. The worms doing worm stuff. The small foundation of trust. Another kill there. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. How does it how did, I didn't daze it? How did it roll first and last? Odd. What region are we in? We're in the first one, Elias. And we're going for the general, so. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. I will say I've been playing very risky. I'm just trying to get kill list kills right now. So like I have not been playing in a way that is probably intelligent to play. Because right now I've just been focusing on getting him his kills up. He's at 33 plus percent additional damage right now, so. I'm really just trying to keep that a lesson taught up. Is a lesson learned. And that's made me sacrifice a lot of like good kills for uh, for him to get the kills. So now has that benefited us? I guess we'll find out. Now we've got to hope that we don't get any like serious fights before this. Okay, we do have a fight, but we'll road heal before we get there at least. And we can potentially skip this fight, which is maybe something we want to do at this point. We do not have a, a super healthy team.
Yeah, we're at 36% additional damage on Gonzalez now, so. He's hitting like a, a pretty, he's hitting like a big minivan. Not a truck, but he's hitting like a big minivan. Uh, this fight is risky, man. I think we take the additional, I think we just go for the healing at this point. Yes, it's gonna, it's gonna lower our torchlight and that's definitely not great, but. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't think us. His all skills execution, yeah, it does. The problem is we could also get like a good item out of this. We could possibly get healing. Play, it's in order. That's the order that the game comes in, Vexia. I go in the order of the game. Uh, yeah, we haven't procked crit, uh, procked tick at all. I think he's Marina. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't. I didn't take any glow with us. I didn't really think about taking glow. Minus 15 torch is going to put us in a pretty rough spot, isn't it? We're going to get the torch reduction either way, but let's go for the fight. Let's see if we can get some heals out of it. I, I don't know. I should have taken the bounty hunter proc. I don't know why I didn't take the one that wasn't going to affect our relationships, but okay. Um, at this point, I think we just go for kills. Like, I don't think we... Oh, that was not... I thought that was Grape Shop Blast. That was not Grape Shop Blast, as you can see by the fact of me not Grape Shop Blasting there. So then I started blasting... God, even with a 23 crit, man. That's nutty. Can't be a Mariner team. Uh, they really said, all right, you want to bodyguard her? Hellion it is. Okay. Shelby is literally so pretty. Shelby Rang, yes, is a... Uh, uh, just a gag we have about me raising funds for my uh, girlfriend's ring. On to the next. If you guys want to help me buy a big fat engagement ring for Shelby, you can, you can donate some bits towards the cause if you'd like. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Like, do I get it for every weekend or month or something? Uh, no. You get ownership through watching our unacquitted love for... Uh, through Twitch. I don't know, man. Yeah, Purge is a very annoying ability. I absolutely agree with you there. More kills for the kill. God. Have I done... I don't... I have. Okay. Um, well, she's going to heal off a lot of the damage, so it might as well. Plus, this gives us tokens to heal with, so that's good. Or are we going to put her to death door? Yeah. But no dots, hopefully. It, it can dot because of the fucking burn, right? So. I still did 15 damage. That's fucking nutty. Duelist player doesn't, uh, doesn't, the ghost who dodges stops you from getting him, yeah. Partnership, the, the ring that I'm gonna get my, uh, girlfriend with the ring fund up there. Oh, goody, we got his hero goal. I'm so excited for him. He did, he deserves that so much. He's doing, he's doing really good damage now. Really, really solid damage. And a mastery point out of that. And our first blood. Yay! Get a quick bounty on his trinket other than heroes... On other heroes after he was finished. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's just... His trinkets are super potent, right? So, I'm, I'm not surprised that that's a thing. Okay, uh, I'm probably not even going to take the blood into this fight. I think what we have here is actually better, generally. Do I? Who do I care about reducing the damage on for more? Yeah, sure. I don't really care about her doing that much damage, honestly. All right, we're going for the lair fight. The tangled trails 
whisper of torment. A highwayman of kill list? It would be absolutely cracked. Go lurk and lay down for a bit. No worries, Aspen. Thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody being here. Y'all are beautiful. See, Charlie fucking agrees. He knows what's up. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for the support. Oh, shit. I'm glad I checked everything before we went in that because I literally just accidentally hit the space bar because I was moving. All right, if we can get additional kills, we should get them. But otherwise, we should just murder things here. There should be no... Um... Should we know trying to, like, get more kills, right? We, we got to get our team through this. Fuck off, game. I mean, that's just, like, the amount of damage we just took in one round there is just actually fucking insane there. Three to six, there's a chance we kill. Okay, we go for the kill here. I'm, I'm not trying to play stupid games right now. Never doing this torch. It's not really the torch. It's not the torch doing it. That's the ordainment. That's just something normal in this ordainment. I mean, it wouldn't happen this early normally, but, you know. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? At least they're fucking shambling back there together. Like, could have gotten another kill list kill very easily here, but instead I'm probably going to get fucking some crazy-ass disease from this shit now. Well, the burn would have to burn the specific part of the body that's bleeding. I think that's the that's the kicker there, right? God damn it, dude. This is not good. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Should, I don't want to use that now, but I'm at the point where I kind of need to. Small, did somebody say smallpox? Wait, did we get smallpox on somebody? Okay, no, we didn't. Scared me there for a second, man. I was like, oh shit. Okay, focus fire here is fine. Yeah, yeah, I love getting crit purged. Thank you. So fun. for the mess at least hey field surgeon proc thankfully that's good for us man I miss penance doing damage to that guy okay I'm gonna go ahead and bodyguard here this is not worth her taking all that damage Okay, 
that was that was good damage mitigation right there. All manner of diversion and dalliance. Duchess, thank you very much for the prime sub. I appreciate that. Two fucking years. Four years? 48 months. Yeah, no. L math. I don't know. I, why did I, 48, I read as two days. That's why. I'm sorry. My brain isn't working right now. Yeah, I know. I read 48 as two days for two out, like two days worth of hours. Yeah, that, obviously my brain did not operate correctly there. Thanks for the four years. I appreciate it. How's it going, Duchess? Welcome on in. Four years too long. Yeah, you stuck with me though. So, not much you can do about it. Excellent work. Playing Duchess in DD1. Yeah, that's a that's a modded character, right? I never played that character. Oh my god, that's actually a thing. Thank you for the 50 bitties. I appreciate that. I, uh, I forget that that's actually a thing you can do, is the gigantified thing in Hickory thing. Um... The crit, too. Take my bitties. Thought it was points. No, no, it's bits. The those ones are bits. Um, they I can't get rid of them. Like that, like Twitch forces me to have them. So, um, you know, I'm concerned about death before dishonor. I mean, of all the things, like the stress is gonna suck, I guess. But like I, right now, there's not much I can do about it. Doesn't do bleed. No, it does not. But it does lower your resistances to dots. Um, which is kind of where it gets you. It also stops you from being able to get things like block or stuff like that. But it only applies that to heroes that generate block naturally, I, I think, is how that works. Holy shit, 12 damage on, uh, on that move is kind of nutty. Focus fire apply uh, burn because uh, ordainment is funny, haha. -ha. Okay, you know what? That's fine by me. Unfortunately, we, we will absolutely get that before dishonored, though. Because this guy is just by far too fast for us. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. But we're going into this very stressed, but for Bastard's Beacon, like, I don't know what else I could ask for. Um, should also, We've got enough issues in this fucking area, Randy. I don't need that as well, please. Thank you. All right, we're going to take this fight. If we die here, we die here, right? Like, that's that's part of the Bastard's Beacon. in a nightmare slumber. He is tortured by failures both real and like this will realistically probably be one of the better situations for me going in one of these fights to be entirely honest much health these have 259 health We need a resolute. I mean, a resolute would be fantastic. Not gonna happen, but it'd be great. That could be fucking distracting dust. Absolutely coming in with the clutch there. I kind of boofed that, didn't I? Oh well. Shit. 
I hate that that ability gives stress on miss. I, I despise that. I think it's so dumb. Uh, unsettling whispers. And apply it judiciously. We're gonna have a meltdown here. Um, there's, there's really quite nothing we can do about it. Here it comes. Hey, okay, we resisted the bleed, which is what I was going for there. Yep. All right, Ad, thank you very much. A lot of damage. You're not wrong. Hey, we're fifty percent health. Ah, the crit really doing the work there. could dodge that that'd be pretty funny I, I mean thematically it makes sense that you can't dodge it but it'd be, it'd be funny if you could thank you for the head pats i appreciate it she got coward are you fucking kidding me i i gotta end this fight like now i gloom a spark <sighs> okay big breaths we did it we beat the fight
Ugh. All right, now, now we just have to get through this fucking thing. Uh, relationships are, eh, they could be worse, right? Locked you in for five rounds. I don't. I actually am quite happy we got this one because it's gonna be really useful against the final fight. I, I understand cow. We can. We're gonna get rid of cowards somehow, right? But um. It's gonna stop us from taking all as much burn against the the additional abilities that the the seething sai gets, because the sai is gonna it it gets burn armor basically, it gets toxic but for burns, right? So, God, I'm about to say why are we so slow? It's not that we're so slow. It's that all the enemies have the dumbest modifier in this fucking game for a demon, which is speed. Which would be fine if it was maybe a special modifier for one of the acts where you're like, I have to deal with really fast enemies. Fine. But for all of them, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Crocs every time, huh? Coward on this is is a run ender if we can't get rid of it. I mean, completely honest with you guys. Yep, yeah, yeah. What's what? Yeah, you just resist everything. That's fine. Fuck it. I'm I am salty right now. If you guys can't tell, oddly enough. I might need to open her in rank two. If I open her in rank two and open with take uh, toe to toe, I think that might be the play. for the hydrate. Where's a bit of class when you need one, right? That was a that was a particularly uh, big rage baity scream when uh, the coward propped immediately after getting it. I gotta lie, that was that was a good moment. Hope somebody clipped that because uh, that was pretty good. Perfect. You're Goku going? For, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that that's what we're going for. I'll take that. Okay. Let's get the cherub over here, or not. That's fine. The cherub is optional. How many mastery points do we even have right now? Oh, right. Tarantism, too. So just in case the coward doesn't proc, we also have Tarantism. He's gonna resolute. Damn it, that would have been hilarious. Hey, we got another blood. Yay! All right. 
Let's get some heals here. No one cares Bounty Hunter yet. Literally, nobody gives a shit, bud. Like, go away. Yeah, Lockjaw's not terrible. Um, it allows us to pretty much stick the bleed on Surgeon, which, like, could be really good. You know? Um... Oh, man, that was a hell of a first region, but we did get our trophy out of the way. Vestal, do you think it's worth locking Quick Draw on her? I would say yes. Um, I would say for now it's fine. You can always remove it and change it later if you need to, but Quick Draw on Vestal is very strong, especially for, like, Seraph Vestal, where you want to open up with a Consecration. If you can get her rolling first, um, you're going to be feeling really good. It's a... It's a awaits its favorite guests. Yeah, and Hypochondriac, too. Thank you. All right, I need to go walk my dog quickly because she's begging me, and I will be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little breather in, so I will be right back. Enjoy some clips in the meantime. Uh, is this a start over? Here? No, absolutely not. We're too far into this. We've got a trophy on Bastard's Beacon, and everybody's alive. We're not restarting. So, all things considered, we're doing okay at this point. I'll be right back. Whiff of something, probably a fart. I'm basically just constantly pumping them out anyway. Oh my god. Yes, you are. Shelby agrees. I just fart constantly. I don't even know that it's happening anymore, if I'm entirely honest. When I graduated my cult leader school, all right, we had to actually work for that shit. But this guy, he just comes in here and he's like, well, I'm a cult leader now. And we're like, dude, you're not a cult leader. And he's like, look at me. And we're like, no, you're not. Turns out he was a cult leader. Fun story. Oh, and we got Shattered Will. Goody, goody, fucking goddamn gumdrops. It's gonna be, it's gonna be glorious. We're gonna stab them in the fucking face until they're fucking dead. I'm gonna just keep stabbing them until they're fucking dead. Ah, oh, it's a shitler. <laughs> Yay! Guys, I'm a pickle. I really need to stuff this pickle. I need to like get it nice and thick. I'm sure not. Oh my God. I can be the thickle. Hey, babe, would you like me to be your thickle? I've been asking for years. I've never been the pickle. Uh, one day you can be the pickle. You gotta prove your worth, though. Are we the cutest fruits you've ever seen? Hashtag profile picture. Uh, <laughs> woo. Yeah, stroke yourself for me, babe. Yeah. No. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. No. Ah. No. 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 Put a bottle jug. Put a bottle jug. Put a bottle of jelly in a baseball bat. No way. No way. No way. I'm going to IHOP, motherfuckers. We getting some pancakes in this bitch. No more tip touching. The catico. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? What are those things? I don't like them. Yeah, I don't think I like them. Oh, there's... Oh, God. Okay. Cool. They reanimate. There it is. Is it like Warheads? It's made by the same company, I believe. But, all right. Mmm. Oh, that flavor is disgusting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Back. Mm. I got myself a cosmic, a cosmic brownie protein bar. These things are pretty good. If you guys like cosmic brownies and you're trying to, you know, watch your calories and stuff. Pretty good. 20 grams of protein for 180 calories or whatever it is. It's not bad. And a Coke Zero, because fuck it, I don't care how late it is. Okay. Where are we going? Rain, fire, 
and tormenting locket. Uh, Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Yeah. Actually, yeah. He is in rank four a lot. Um, memory status? We only have a few. But everybody's named, if that's what you're asking. Named or locked in. Um, avoid the watchtower for tormenting locket. I think this is good. I'm gonna take it. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. Okay. That could have been worse. What you can for wealth no longer a heart seeker meaning, if indeed it ever did relationships are definitely something we need to prioritize now that was a good roll hell yeah what's the pet uh tick box Harden. Okay. Uh, Boudicca and Zachary. Very good roll. Positive now. We still have that one, which is pretty low. That 5% I'm going to hopefully not worry about. So this is the only one I'm a little risky on. It's Boudicca and Paracelsus. All right, the stress on range skill, even for Sharp Shop. The stress on range skill, generally, probably yes. We're trying to force the damage, right? So, like, if I can, like, combine that, say, with Greater Heart Seeker, he gets 20% additional crit. Now, do we want that versus, like, just taking Snappy Swig, where he gets a 50% chance to crit 100% of the time? Hey, Biggles, how's it going? Um, hey, Crandall, how's it going? Uh, saw your video on Obsession Confessor Boss. Has your team comp changed much since you made that video? Uh, my most recent one? Uh, no. I, w I wouldn't say it has changed at all since that. That most recent video came out like a like what two weeks ago. That hasn't really changed. Now, if you're talking about my original original one from way back in the day when the boss first came out, yes, because the boss is drastically different. So make sure you're watching the most recent one. But welcome on in. Yeah, Sion. That's that's the rough part about Tick when that happens. It's definitely not fun when it happens. Um. So yeah, the argument's like, do we even take this argument over Snappy Swig? My argument would be that we try to get somebody else to be able to use Snappy Swig and him to just have Tormenting Locket and Greater Heart Seeker to get the 20% base crit value on top of 15%. So you do like 35% chance to crit. Nah, maybe that's not very good. Um, Lockjaw, though... Is Lockjaw better than Footman's Grog and Greater Anchoring Charm? These are both really strong. I might end up putting this on the Mana Arms, though. Um, especially against the Act 1 fight, because that's going to be... Or the Act 2 fight, that's going to be particularly important for us. She can get that for now. Uh. Uh, ooh, yeah. We also, I mean, like... Coward and stuff is really going to screw us here. And we need to try and find a hospital if we can. How are we doing on food before I start spending lots of money here? I need one more food. Uh, sure. Uh, there's no way for us to get rid of Coward right now. Uh, we can get rid of Nervous. We can get rid of Slow Handed. We can get rid of Neat Freak or Cult of Maniac. If anything, I would say probably Slow Handed is something worth getting rid of. What do we possibly risk getting rid with that? Cosmic Hater? Oof. Cosmic Hater is nice. The thing is, though, right, with the enemies getting plus two speed, like, are we ever really going to roll faster than them? Cosmic Hater is a really good, really good quirk. Too risky for the bone tea? It might be too risky for it, yeah. Cosmic Hater is a really strong quirk, right? That gives us plus 20% or less damage taken and more damage dealt versus Cosmic, which is the final fight, right? So, like, do we want to risk that for two additional speed? I 
I don't know. I'd argue it's pretty good. Man, even if I give him stimulating poultice, he won't be fast enough. And for coward, I can't I can't get to it. Uh the skull T will always take the the uh the quirk that's touching the arrow. Um so it's not gonna touch it. Like I there's not there's no risk. I just won't get it. It'll it'll only take a cultomaniac. So unless I had three skull T's or like two meditator totems or something, there's nothing I can do to get rid of it. That's why I'm saying like I can get rid of nervous, I can get rid of slow hand, I can get rid of neat freak. Yeah, the speed across the team is low. I'm kind of tempted to try it and just take the risk, honestly. Okay, that was worth it. Okay. Yeah, like when a new quirk shows up, yep. Activate Swig, but it's expe it is very expensive, and I I'm not sure it's really that necessary. I think for now, I'm going to spend the money. We're going to get Greater Heartseeker. We're going to toss it on Highwayman because the crit is good. And right now, that gives us value. It doesn't. This gives us no value right now, and I'm really not too keen on spending all the money for it. But we'll grab the stimulating poultice. Make sure we eat food before I forget, because I'm really bad about forgetting that. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded McCradle, to the thank you very much for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Alike. Tried one away occultist flag and leper, but the stress is out of hand. Yeah, that's a really rough team. Uh, the only saving grace there would be just going toxic on flag as much as possible and just having him eat all the stress. But that's a rough one. Uh, thank you for the 100 biddies. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, we're going to end up throwing Hellion into rank 2 and letting her toe-to-toe -to, -toe to open with. Uh, that should mitigate the... Um, survival demands it. That should mitigate some of the damage, but it, it's not going to do much, honestly. We need these upgraded. Crush upgraded, yeah. And then probably bolster, actually. We need a stress heal. All right. Each improvement... A new variable in the equation of your fate. This is actually a really good item for us to get right now. Uh, wow, this is going to make it... Okay, so keep in mind here. Safety of Slumber is going to make it so that our team will always be slow. But we do get the dot resistance. But at this point, we're pretty much guaranteed to go last no matter what. Um, this is actually probably why we should definitely go for Tormenting Locket, because I don't think we're going to get Snappy Swig. Kind of much the follow, I appreciate it. Glory yeah, so Swig is not activating, so we should probably just, damned. like, not. Like, we just kind of say, fuck it. We're, we're putting it to the side. That's fine. We go for this. We avoid the Watchtower. We go for the increased crit chance. Um, and I think that that's going to be good for us, for the most part. Um, he doesn't have an armor or weapon equipped, but, it, like, this just gets it out of our image. I'm going to keep it for now until we, like, absolutely need the space, because, like, why not? You never know. There might be some crazy scenario where it pops up. Um, I need to save some money for getting rid of the thing. Getting rid of the coward. No relationships. We absolutely take that. That's a great proc for us. Yeah, we well we rolled good trinket luck at the beginning. We we got it in sharpness charm, uh, mortal ward, and um, cities of man. What was the other thing we got it in? And a flame. Uh, anchoring charm, I think it was. Yeah. All right, avoid the watchtower. We can do immediately. That's great. So we just go up the middle, I think. The downside to this is that we we don't know where the hospital is, and we're unlikely to find it. Um, okay, oop, I'm gonna swap Boudicca before I forget. We just kind of deal with that. The other downside being a high likelihood that we have a repair fight. Um, ooh, I'll take those bleeding powders. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna go first. Like, in no shape and or form are we ever gonna go first. Especially in this area. Um... And so oh, sharpness, snappy, fall. immortal. Thank you. Yeah, that was it. All right, let's. Uh, who's got? Go for this one. Hope for an assistance counter. Kind of that's a, yeah. That's actually a good like possibility for us. We actually rolled faster than. Well, I say than two of them. No, than one of them. We rolled faster than the slow fatty boy, but. 
though. We do have pretty good dot resist. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't guarantee anything for us. So. With Enlightening Ele or with Ounce of Prevention, though, combined to that, we can actually pretty much make ourselves, In crisis, like, really, really nicely upon each other. Uh, insulated from uh, a lot of dot here, which is good. Okay, and doesn't matter because 78% chance just doesn't apply to her. Yep, that's fine. You know, if, if any enemy had 78%... Oh my fucking god. Any enemy had 78% resistances, I would never get my dot through them. Okay. More arrive. Yes, yeah, so I know they get the piercing, but still. Glory. So right the Twitch, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Of the damned. It's still, like, unlikely that they're getting this much, but here we are. We're still able to kill two enemies by round two, so that's not terrible for us. Love from Italy? All the way from Italy? Hell yeah. Thank you very much for the love. I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we are, we are getting some resist now, so that's good. I'm... Go ahead and retribution here so we can force the damage into him. So we are getting a lot of resist, so like that's that's good. Like it is it is happening. There it is again. Yeah. We just we just front loaded it, so. Any other heals we can get? We can get that one, so let's take it. We don't need to be, per se, as cautious about heals as we were, you know, with um, the Hateful Pyre, but it, it still pays to be healing our team often. We are the flame. Hey, Mastery Point, I will Only absolutely take. Tinderbox doesn't do anything for us. Please. Protectorate? I, I don't really know. I mean, the, the greater healing is great. Mortal Ward isn't amazing, but I don't think this is really a... I don't think it's really a swap in, honestly. Love from the Oblivion's Ingress. Man, we got people from all over the world here, including Oblivion's Ingresses? Wow, crazy. Crazy chat. Yeah, we do have to worry about uh, road fights. We have a fairly high chance of them being... Uh, okay. Of being a collector, so... Is that the name for Cactus Cotton? C Cacti make cotton? I live in Arizona, this is news to me. Hold fast. For who knows what Good resist, hey, we are... Oh my god. Ah, fucking hell. Between Tarantism and... Uh coward like our we've complete our like hellion is completely nerfed right now like we have to get something figured out on her because like we're just this, this is your bro just kicked a fucking dog in the face what the hell dude you can't do that what the fuck Okay, we got this. That's the worst hero trinkets in your opinion. They're not great. Definitely agree with you on that. We are getting and pretty gnarly here. All 
Okay, this is exactly why I put strategic withdrawal on. Better than my knight? Uh, it's going alright, Soup. I'm sorry to hear that your knight is not going very well, but here for you to hang out and have a, a place to relax and hopefully feel a little better. If it, if it helps you feel any better, we've proc'd Coward, I think, like 80% of the time now. So that's really been feeling good. Told us what Cactus Cotton is. <laughs> what is Cactus Cotton? Wait, what the hell? This guy drinks that keeps his mustache amazing. I have the answer for Rogue Energy. Oh my God, look at you doing my sponsor bit for me. Absolutely fucking amazing. Amazing stuff there. The past is gone. Let it die. And we're already going super slow. An additional 10% damage is pretty nice. I'm gonna leave it. Carrot Hellion is classic Hellion. Rayon. Interesting. Never freaking heard of it. Therefore, it must be a lie established by the United States government in order to bring the people down by making them think that Rayon is a reality. Stay woke, brothers. Oh, we take the fight. Coward Leper is just a dead leper. Yeah, Coward Leper ain't a great time. It'd be totally fair of you there. Either's that. That wasn't great either. That was not like a. That was not a fun time to have right there. Coulda, woulda, shoulda dodged that, but you didn't. Okay, I just got a big old fat heal because of it. Yeah, let's start off with a crit, why not? I mean, yeah, why not? The fire rises! Okay, Bane, shut the fuck up, first of all. Second of all, shut the fuck up. God, I love Infernal Taskmaster. Really, such a fun of fucking fair ability. Oh, is he not at the stress threshold? Whoops. Rule number one, shut the fuck up. Rule number two, shut the fuck up. Infernal Trash Master, yeah, pretty much. Bro, can you not have 15 fucking turns? Right, my rage is like on full display tonight. Because this game is bullshit and it fucking knows it. Rage if you log 2,000 hours. No, 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 you're gonna get it if you don't. It's fine. It's fine. You're all you're all gonna get this kind of rage. It's acceptable. Don't worry about it. We fucking love the sprawl. I love Bastard's Beacon sprawl, man. You don't think Ordainment's gonna be that big of an issue? Because you're like, well, I deal with ordained enemies like all the time anyway. Like, is it really that big of a deal? Yes, the answer is yes, it is. It stacks up so fucking fast against you. I should have done the double tap thingy there whatever it's fine Persistence oh my god we got more blood yes bleed all over me please i mean I, i'm 
I didn't say that. Anyway, uh, there we go. Three blood. Three blood. Three blood. Tree blood. All right, we're going to try to not take a fight for a second. So that way we don't get collected all over the fucking place. Let's have a random quote just to set the tone for the rest of the run, shall we? Tell me a number, BB. Uh, 34. That was close. Holy shit. Only pro moves are allowed in this chat. A bunch of crunchy old dudes sitting in a room. <laughs> what the fuck? I do not recall that at all. Brother. Brother, could you have anything that's less shit? Please, brother. Less shit, more good. I'll take the whiskey barrel, I suppose, and the whiskey. We'll drop that, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about there? Yeah, if you have a VIP, if you're a VIP or a mod, you can add quotes. So if I ever say something absolutely ludicrous, please add them, because they're fucking hilarious. Let us hope their desperation can be eased. Can you guys give me something fucking good? Or are you just going to be shit homeless people like usual? Uh, okay. I've had better homeless people, but I'll take it. In this world, wealth is worth... Going up? Yeah, you gotta tell other people that one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the... The homeless people quote right there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Don't let him see. That I just saw that. We're not going there. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck the shambler. Da -da 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 -da. No, I'm not doing it. Da -da -da -da. No, but hey, it's not happening. Not today. I'm not taking ordained shambler. And flame. As far as the eye can see. Canonically, yes, I do have a coward on my team, so I'm actually just being a canonical player. I'm going to take the songbook. If we can increase our speed, like, and make it a little less painful in towards the end, that's going to be good for us, for sure. Question mark or cage creature? Cage creature can get us pustule salves, which are pretty good. Or pulsing heart, which, if we get somebody's bleed resist up high enough, is basically free regen. I mean, we have safety of slumber. Like, regen is not a bad option for us to have. It's not going to stop us from dying, but... Collector. No. Okay. Almost just as bad, though, actually. Hey Joe, hey Joe, what's going on? Why do you suck so many balls? I don't think it's really sanitary to fuck pigs, yep. There we go. Hell yeah. This road cannot be walked alone. And we get a crit heal out of that. Very nice. Oh, and there's the regular heal. Fine. What applied the combo there? I'd love to know because we haven't applied combo like all fight, and I I actually don't know what did that. 
Yeah, BB fishing only, sorry. This is just, I love this for us. This is great. Excellent. I mean, yeah, fishing costs points. Fishing is not free. Never has been. If you guys thought that this was a fair economy, I, I don't know what to tell you. Is the PP Poo Poo Man. Are your sources of combo? Yeah, that's true. I am the PP Poo Poo Man, though. Thank you for reminding the people, though. Yeah, that ability doing that much damage seems right. It's definitely a thing. This team has been fairly survivable, which uh, I find interesting. I didn't think it would survive this well, generally. It's been able to get itself out of a few pickles. That was a that was a well-timed stun for you. Indiscriminate science just holding its absolute own today. Yeah, we've, we've activated stabby stab mode. The crate heal, thank you. Uh, I'm doing this just because I think we can get another heal, so we might as well go for it. Yep. Yeah, iron swan combo is probably what it was. Got to try to recover here as much as we can. There is comfort in company. Nice. One less obstacle in Goodbye, our Joe. Give us something good. Okay, storage room cre cre key is interesting. Emboldening Vapors gets regen, which is nice, but we lose out on the heal from Battlefield Medicine. Probably not great for us. Uh, Clarifying Carcinet can be pretty good if we have the money for it, obviously. Um, max HP and uh, damage, but it's not going to give us anything right now. I like having Ounce block. Yeah, Ounce getting blocked too. I mean, those are both good things. We just lose out on Battlefield Medicine doing so much healing. So we could take off more reward for it, and then, you know, then we get value. We are using OOP and Emboldening Vapors. Like, we're getting value. Yeah, it's probably worth it, isn't it? I mean, Battlefield Medicine just needs to remove the dots more than it really needs to do the healing. Like, IS is going to be our... Pri it has been our primary heal. This on-camp study evokes the feeling of the familiar, does it not? Gives us a guaranteed negative quirk. Um, this will give us double the sets of Pustule Salves, though, which is really nice. I'm curious if this is worth it, because the other one is Pulsing Heart. Yeah, I think this is worth it. Heart is nice, but I... I don't think it's great, but we do get, like, yeah, a massive set of salves here, which is really good. I'm going to drop Carcinet. I don't think we're going to use it. Get the blood on us. A heal here. This gives us more options for healing. Beacon increase the chance of Shambler spawning low torch. I believe it does, yes. Yes. 
So we definitely... Are we at that threshold yet? We Oh, we are very close. Oh, God. Uh, we may get a natural... Well, okay. Cultist fight will actually increase our torchlight, but... The hero box... Yeah, the hero box are really good. There's a lot of, like, uh, ingrained lore into the shadow... Into the, the shadow box. The hero box that I generally don't pay attention to. Yeah, we'll take the... We'll take the crit token start here. Let the cutscene play. Yo, mini cow, how's it going? Good to see you here. Congrats on beating Act 5, by the way. Saw your post. I think max HP is no good for Act 2, yeah. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Go for the bolster, get the stress down, get the block plus up, it's nice. Hero crit's actually being good in DD2. Uh, well, we don't get any additional crit chance because of the low torch right now, so. All right, yeah, that does give him regen. I, I, we just talked about that and I totally forgot. Uh, you should try the team. Honestly, it's really satisfying. Basically, plays itself. You know what the team does. Yeah, it's. Uh, I believe it is a team that we have played before. It's a really solid comp, though. I absolutely agree. Uh, let's not waste a uh, crit token, huh? We spent six candles for that. Let's not waste it. We're gonna generate more of those anyway, so not super worried about it. I mean, we're doing all right, all things considered. Like we are. We have made it through a lot of this, and we're we're in good condition. Dead. Uh, let's go for the damage here. What's the team? It's, uh, Flag, uh, Crusader, Highwayman, and I can't, was it Runaway? I can't remember who the final person was. It was a solid team. It's a lot of, oh no, it was, uh, Jester. Jester is who it was. A lot of, uh, like, it's a really solid, like, dance back and forth team. Um, with Flag, like, deep doing all the tanking. It's a, yeah, it's a solid team. damage Hellion or low health high damage Hellion is always a always a fun time yeah there you go they're, they're the paths as well some heals here let's do this heal it heals four less still nine damage though or nine heal but you got to think about the dots it's removing as well that all counts as part of the heal right so uh i think we can get another heal here yep we sure can Just trying to stall a little bit there and get our health up as much as possible. It's important. The past is gone. We got 10 flame here. Sickening silence. Die. I mean, sure. I, I don't know. That sharpness charm is pretty good on her. Yeah, we get the tarantism value and it get, we get toe to toe value with it, you know? Um. Shimmer threshold 30. Yeah, we're, we're below the threshold, so. 
I think it's like 25 or 30 or something like that. What do we want? Disease resist, debuff resist. Resist for minus 10% damage per negative turn. That's not gonna be good for us. Take this. We get the sharpness charm to him. Or we give it to the highwayman. another cultist fight with no fight in between so we're not gonna run into a shambler most likely don't forget to use ounce if we run into shambler we definitely will use ounce yeah for the for the blocks well but yeah we should be using it for the block as well anyway how are we doing on mastery points only one mastery point right now that's not great cyclops thank you for gigantifying an emote there how's it going thank you very much how you doing or that does cost bits so just keep that in mind <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Cyclops. Behold, the infinite emptiness of the void. Yeah, I mean, we're using all our candles, but that's what they're there for, right? Regional goal? I can't remember what the region goal is, honestly. I'm, t I'm, t I'm too far into this now. I think it was something we wanted, wasn't it? Avoid the watchtower, I thought it was. Yeah, we're about to get our trumpeted, our shit trumpeted together. We're also about to get to take a bunch of random fucking stress. Tormenting locket, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out our trinkets when we get to the final end. That, that is impressive how much you messed that up. That, I mean, that, that takes skill. You should be proud of yourself for the skill that that took, you know? Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Ah, uh, the blinds are always so strategic for them. We have tenacity at home. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Get out of my chat. You're banned forever. You know, you guys do have the option to not do the AOE hits and to just do like regular hits, but whatever. What did she get regen from? Did I use emboldening vapors on her? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I didn't think I did for some reason. That's still doing six, like, D it's doing okay HP for a heal. Um, oh my god, look how much fucking dot they have. Holy shit. Yeah, Hellion's fucking cracked right now, huh? I only, this is my first fight having it on, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember that it's a thing that I have. Francism has paid off. I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely doing something. I don't really know if it's paid off per se, but it's, it's not hurting. A little help impeccably timed. Yeah. Well, we have a regen now, which is good. The of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. I mean, it's probably better than this Mortal Ward, but like, uh, is this better? Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That makes her pretty much immune to burn. And it's also just very useful in general against that final fight. If we decide to just use it on, you know, a random person. It's now just a better toxic flag, pretty much. Ren sickening science of cause of death actually cracked though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually kind of gnarly. I haven't even thought about using Cause of Death, but we definitely could. Yep, 
Yeah, don't tell Batay there's no Shambler, because he'll get really upset on a personal level and then cry himself to sleep tonight. Brew, how's it going? Welcome on in. Well, it's still unfortunate we still have Coward, but, I mean, you know, what can you do, I suppose? The steel has been sundered, yes. A lot of steel got sundered there. Mmm, sundery. It's my favorite kind of thing. Well, he's not gonna take sundering steel, so we'll just do that. Getting exalted? Not today. I guess I could have taken aim there before we went into more. He is going to get worshipped, though, so. But only one, so we should be fine. Oh boy, do we ever, absolutely. I also love the resists. Excellent. Top notch. Yep, gets to go again. Cool. This is a, an amount of stress that I can definitely outpace without having an ability like one of two abilities in the game that can actually outpace this. Really glad that any team can do this. Passing this some Ravager, uh, Vanguard, Surgeon, and Sharp Shot. And a fucking coward. Nope, that's a meltdown. God damn it. <sighs> One on their relationship. Another coward proc. Just what we needed today. Persistence will overcome the greatest of threats. Idle thought, no thank you. If it was a uh, selfish motivation, I'd absolutely take it. Well, that's another region that we have survived. That's good. Doing better than the first time I did Bastard's Beacon, I'm not gonna lie, so I'm I'm happy with that. It's definitely tough, but it hasn't like made me want to cry the whole time. Though there was a few moments. There have been a few moments. I think I've used Idle Thaw. I've used it on Finale and on, on Leper. Uh, like Finale and like Chop are like two abilities that are like fairly high damage enough that I feel like I can get some good value out of, but. Beyond that, not really. All right, tormenting lockets. You can carry no more. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? I'm not going to the sluice. Um, there's no reason for us to take the sluice right now. It's really not going to help us of anything. Is there any way we can guarantee a hospital? No. Go for the fetter then. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. Might be one of the worst ones I've seen for that, but that's all right. Got us off the really scary people, which is great. So, got us out of the super, super scary there. Paracelsus and Zakai, we can get off there. Oh. Ah. 
Don't get tinnitus, guys. Ugh. Oh. Uh, relationships. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My tinnitus just fucking kicked me in the head there. Um, yeah, yeah. I just, I just suffer from really, really bad tinnitus from my time in the military. Yeah, well, yeah, it definitely does. But yeah, I live with it. It's better than uh, I can't do in earbuds because they, when I pop them out, it activate, it makes my tinnitus go off as well. Just the popping noise. I use uh, bone conduction at work for my work headphones. Yeah, it's not fun. It's what I get for working with fighter jets for five fucking years of my life. Um, all right, let's try the whiskey. Uh, yeah. I want to get this one up, but I'm worried that it's just going to go down and that's going to cause me problems. So let's just fix Zekrai and Boudica. Or that. Good fucking job, mouse. Literally, it just. Mm. Mm -hmm. Conventional fare. But fairly I, there's no fixing those. I have nothing that's gonna let me fix those. Uh, thank you, Charlie. Yeah, Appreciate it. Baby. How are you doing that's on food? That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! We're not. That's what we're doing on food. God, I hate ends that for uh, forcing steak and forcing slime mold are both fucking annoying. Like, and forcing me to take one of each is also just disgusting. Uh, I don't have an Amorous songbook, no. I've got a book of body tales, but not a, of Amorous ballads. We do have two songbooks of rousing tunes. There's maybe value for taking them and just boosting our speed in the final fight. Like, there's nothing... I don't think I need to go more than that, though. Like, I don't think we need both of them, if I'm be honest. Death cap spores are probably something we should probably grab for the final fight as well. There's definitely a part of me that wants to save for getting rid of Coward, though. Death cap spores are nice. Are they, like, necessary? I mean, that's that's objective, I think. Subjective, not objective is the word I'm looking for there. Um, all right. Uh, two mastery points to our name here. Survival demands it. Uh, incision is gonna be good. Uh, and be Battlefield Medicine right now just doesn't feel like something that's that incredible for us. Um, I could upgrade Adrenaline Rush to get the additional healing and also the dot removal, but I th think we'll probably go for Grape Shop Blast right now. Alright. I'm gonna go get all this done. As as and let's go to the fetter. We're probably gonna get at least one negative relationship. Maybe two. Maybe two. None of them! Hell yeah, amorous. Pistol shot remove dot, that's great. Dodge. Okay, cool. Alright, game. I will take I will take the luck. Thank you. This was in danger. Alright, we do have an exemplar to deal with, so... Uh, but ordained exemplar is nothing new, right? So, like, that's not really a, a fight that I'm super worried about, I'm entirely honest. So, at this point, I don't really... And I don't want to go for, like, four assistance encounters in a row. Do we have a hospital? Oh, we do have a hospital. Thank God I fucking took the time to actually pay attention to that. Uh, yeah, we're going right. A rare up 
opportunity. We get rid of coward. Like we, there's no if ands or buts about it. We got to get rid of coward. We don't get rid of that. We're we're just shooting ourselves in the foot. I can deal with tarantism. Coward, I can't deal with. They have sharp shot work. I mean, sharp shot is a pure damage path, right? So you lose out on a lot of his like he can't daze people. He can't uh, slow people down. He can't bleed super effectively, or at least that's not his focus. Um, so I would say the biggest thing with him is that you just have to accentuate his damage and then load in the other, like, things you need from other people, uh, elsewhere. Like, you don't need to focus on any combo, you don't need to focus on, um, you know, highway robbery lineups and stuff like that. Really, the only way you're playing him is just, like, you're just shooting people, like, you, as much as possible. You know if the battle ballad and command got well we we do know that uh jester and man arms are both getting a uh both getting changes they're getting a rework oh. really fucking bad free. today but his prices remain fixed <sighs> Yeah, they weren't going to allow old school battle battle ballad to come back. There's no way. And command was also broken, right? So. Uh, we want to be cautious about spending too much money here, if any, honestly. Nothing here that I'm super keen about. Maybe the stimulating poultice. We already have a lot of ways to increase our speed right now. I'm good. No exemplar. Oh, yeah, no exemplar. Thank you, Mariner. Yeah, good, good call. Problem. You're right, I just always assume there's an exemplar. But you're right, there's no exemplar. God forbid, oh, I'm, I, the removal of accuracy was the best thing that ever happened in this game. Accuracy was by and far one of the biggest mechanics in DD1 that made the game sometimes not fun. Um, I had, I had turned down my headphones. God damn, I don't know why my, I, like normally it doesn't even affect me at all, but today it's fucking kicking my ass. This is an interesting one. I don't think I've ever had that interaction before on Ascetic. Um, minus five torchlight for stagecoach gear? Sure, we might get something good. There is going to be a cardinal, though, yeah, which could be worse. Okay, well, okay. fuck you. The other hand, Wilbur no longer dodge four chops in a row and then kills your occultist with sudden this. Yeah, I mean, there's there's pros and cons, I guess. I mean, I know some people love accuracy, and I think that's really just a and d like thing right there is just this level of like pure chance and sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't i i enjoyed it to a degree right like you could definitely gamify it pretty well but for for just a game that i can sit down and play more consistently like the yes there's obviously some rng with the percentage chances but it's very clearly articulated you know exactly what you're gonna get 95 for some reason yeah i don't know why they did that. i mean i guess i kind of know why they did that they did that because they didn't want there to be a way to gamify it that they probably weren't aware of where somebody stacked everything so perfectly that it was impossible for them to never fuck up you know never miss or anything like that and that's really what that boiled down to i can never find like why is it that i can they they should make it so the hospital always spawns of each one of like the dot like an impermeable a clotting and a you know whatever ultis and that's just me bitching about it right now because i'm mad about it right now it obviously isn't valid overall but the accuracy does not generally yeah uh... what's my favorite comp burns um i mean i have a named team in the game uh, a name that i suggest is red hook and they put in the game so i'm pretty partial to that team uh it's kind of a funky team but it's i mean it's not the best team in the world but it's fun so that's that's one of my favorite teams and that's uh the take me to church team which is from rank one back um runaway Flag Crusader Vestal. Flag and Crusader might be swapped. I can't remember. It's a really high regen team, though. Take all you can. Okay, we're out of spots here. I don't need candles at this point. Whiskey, food, yes, yes, yes. Impermeable poultice, don't really give a shit. Richman's net, don't really give a shit. Uh, I don't really care about these bleeding powders right now anymore. Holy water could be pretty good for us. Tea service is something that actually gives us some value 
leaving the next end, so we should definitely take it. And do it from there. Yeah, that was that's a fun comp. I really like that one. I'm I'm also a big partial fan of um uh Mana Arms Mana Arms Highwayman Jester Plague Doctor. It's kind of like the old school meta team from DD2 from like when the game was a uh, a bit different than it is now. It's not as meta as it used to. We'll see how things change once Plague Doctor gets reworks done. I'm sure things will change a lot. Yeah, usual suspects always a good option. The unusual suspects is also a very good option. I think a lot of people sleep on Grave Robber and think that she's not that great, but she's actually pretty. She's pretty fucking good, man. Especially with all the changes they've done somewhat recently. It's like I just missed out on a fucking healing salve because the game wouldn't let me stop there. So that's great. Realistic, but I don't. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. There, there's probably a level of that being like, yeah. There's. Oh, that's Field Surgeon that gives us that interaction. Interesting. Good thing too, because I didn't realize our torch was that fucking low. Um, where it's like, you know, sometimes you just fucking miss, right? Even if you're, like, the best in the world, sometimes you slip and you miss something, right? I think that I think that's the basis of it. But I think as far as a game goes, I, I enjoy the mechanic more as it is. I'm going to drop Snappy Swig. Uh, I don't think we're getting any value out of it. I, I also am going to drop Mortal Reward again. I don't know if we're really going to get much value out of it. River gets a lot of love. She does now. Um, she definitely didn't used to. I'm trying to avoid Collector, I'm entirely honest. I know I'm not taking any fights, but we're feeling okay on mastery points. A hasty and reckless thing, indeed. There is a heavy, heavy chance we're forced to take Shambler here. Um... The reason being is we have an occultomaniac maniac on the team. Oh, fuck! They seek to strike while we are vulnerable. Hold them off. I was so focused on the shambler, I didn't fucking pay attention to my. <sighs> How the hell did we run out already? We got ourselves back into position really quick, so I'm not super worried about it. This is not good, especially if we get four Shambler here. I I don't have a way of moving people. This is no time to bolter. I'm not feeling good about this, guys. This is really kicking. I'm not happy with this. I uh, should have paid better attention. I'm gonna be really pissed if we get four Shambler after this too. Highwayman's almost guaranteed to melt down due to his uh, having the the token, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to remove the corpse. At least it'll pull it closer. Yep. Yeah, Hyoman's not getting hit here, which is probably for the better, honestly. Our stress. Get her in position. What's the start, Strider? What do you mean the start? All oh, the strat, strat. Sorry, dyslexia is a bitch and a half. Uh, win. <laughs> Uh, we're taking on Act 2, so there's a lot of back row damage, a lot of front row damage. 
Can we get a misfire, please? Fucking hell. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to start using our healing staff. S here, okay. Relationship, okay, yeah, just relationship go burr because she's stressed and I healed her twice. She didn't like that, or he didn't like that, sorry. Somebody didn't like that, probably the Highwayman actually. It's very confusing because the way it does it is it puts the relationship minus on her, the person doing the action, rather than uh, the person who's feeling that way for some reason. A little help impeccably timed. Damn it, dude. Ah, so bullshit. Forward and the snipers in the back. Uh, generally, yes. Might be worth equipping if you're forcing the shambler. Yeah, we'll probably have to take the uh, take the blood to us in the shambler. It's a good. It's a. I mean, if we're forcing the shambler, we're gonna have to do something about it, right? Not much we can figure about it. Yeah, this this is what happens when uh, our battlefield medicine is lowered. We'll just be lucky we don't get a meltdown on Highwaymen, honestly. Such an unfortunate fight for us to get pulled into. God, Blood Plus is so fucking busted. There we go. All right. Yeah, Cultimania is never a problem until it is. Now we're going into a Shambler fight with way too much stress on our team. I would be majorly surprised if we survive a Shambler fight at this point. Um, blind shouldn't be that big a deal in a Shambler fight, right? Um, blood, yeah. All right. I'm keeping my team shuffled for now because... Um, Chambler. But this is this is this is bad for us guys. This is not good. If we can avoid the Chambler, that's great. If not. Okay, we can avoid it. That's fantastic. Alright. If she had rolled along with the other person, it would have been a guaranteed um and we only got light sensitive there. That's awesome. Alright, let's get people back where we want them. We no longer need breakthrough. We can toss on Rockets Revelry. Take off, hold in line, throw on. What do we want? Um Strategic withdrawal. Doesn't need this. We can get back to that. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, the Hellion Tricket would be good in that situation for sure. Absolutely. Um, but it would not be. It would still be a very close fight. About that. How do you want a torch? 50. Should probably grab glimmer, those glimmers and toss them on at this point. Uh, drop the bandages. I don't need. Drop the two relics. Yeah, let's move on. All right. Unfortunately, though, our team is basically at this level of stress. We get this happening, which is just the thing I very much dislike about this particular part. Of, I don't like dislike the driving. I dislike when oh my team is stressed. So uh, here's like eight like negative pips. Uh, have fun. <laughs> like thank you. What do I do with this situation? Oh nothing. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh okay. okay. Cool. Uh, let's check Hellion here. Uh, she's the same either way, so it just didn't really matter. I gotta take the fight to try and reduce our stress. Elite enemies definitely don't make that situation better for us, though. And then we just fell down immediately. Yeah. Okay, all right. Name is one of the characters. There is Strider, but everybody's currently named. It's a channel point redeem, though. Never freaking punished, guys. Never freaking punished. All right. We do need to move, um, move these ones. I, for, I forgot that she's a, uh, she's in rank three. Should be in rank three. 
Yeah, as we get more people memoried, it becomes harder and harder to uh, to get people slots. Get a little regen going there. We're very resistant to dots as well, which is super helpful for us. Let's rock us here, get the stress down. There we go. And I was just wondering why everyone else hates it. Yeah, they're like the the taking on the general at the very beginning, and like everybody went through this whole ordeal, and Man at Arms is just like, why are you guys all freaking out? I don't understand. Stress down here. This is why we took. We got very lucky with that resolute, but this is why we took this fight was to just try our best to get the stress down as much as possible. I need to be using my uh, glimmers more. I need to get the torch light up. Oh, I should be using um, double tap to get her get back there but you're stressed in the middle of a fight that seems to be the way they like to do it what's all the hustle i haven't seen anything horrific yet man at arms probably right you guys are elite too again do not use double tap just just clicking without thinking at this point this is all fine that's a really, I mean, 12 damage on meat hook, that's fucking nutty. Yeah, this is my support ability. Let me just. Okay. Cooperation. Do I have channel sub? No, no, you don't. But there's no, uh, there's no slots available right now. It's just a channel point redeem. I believe they've been. Were they deactivated because there were no slots left? No, they're available. Yeah, it's a channel. It's a channel point reward, but there's uh, all the slots are taken right now. So generally, they get taken by people at the beginning of the stream. Uh, let's just go for the kill. Funny if double tap proc that uh, twice. That would be awesome. It double like all of that shit. Gonna get any healed up here. Hell yeah! All right. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. All right. Don't care about cleaver. I need to swap um, these two. Check our combat items again. Again, you know, using combat items is generally better than not, so we shouldn't, like, just hoard them because we want to potentially, you know, save them for something special. Though we should be saving the blood. That's that's something we generally want to save. We've only gotten three blood this run, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, will this be a collector? Let's see. I'm guessing no. No collector, which means it will be a collector. A new trophy. Oh boy. Hey, Los Slayers. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate in it. This domain of the, damned. the speed is going to absolutely fucking wreck me, dude. 
Oh. Going to get wrecked. Did I just proc it as the... Oh, God, we have hypochondriac. I didn't even realize that. Pokemon is so Thank you for the love. I appreciate it, brother. Oh, this asshole. Yeah, this asshole. It's going to be a fight, to be sure. That's... Damon Dop. And. Okay. He really collect cold there. I've done no damage to him. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. I don't, I don't have the damage, man. God, it's so hard because every time I move him forward, like I, I can no longer hit him with Hellion. That's a funny headstrong. and steady. This fight is doable, absolutely. It's just, we're, we're just in a rough, like this fight on Bastard's Beacon, like, like, all in all, we're just, we're just, it's rough for us. I should have used it on her. Bro, stop collect call. Yeah, it's, um, maybe not the worst thing that could happen, if I'm entirely cream, honest. Hi, Bearman. Huge hit. The head guard there is annoying. I gotta do this. I wish I didn't have to, but I have to. Because she might focus her. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so she's got a sickening sign, so she's dead. Let's get the block plus going. damage here. Adrenaline rush here. Sweat so proud. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Actually, I would have rather collect call than life steal. I should have. I shouldn't have done that. Should have. Fuck! I'm not in position. God damn it!
Well. She understood death, but could not defy it. Guard. In life or in death, we are all prisoners here. Loathing abates. Yep. Not much. If that was it, but who do we take now? Like, who do we who do we swap in? Vestal is probably our best bet. Undeserved combination could be pretty good. fucking situation, dude. God, I fucking hate DBR, man. Of course, it was a fucking ordained hit that did it, man. Like, if it wasn't for ordained burn, we would have been fucking fine. Man, that stings, dude. This was a really solid run. Like, this was, like, a fucking good-ass team. Not that we won't win, probably, but, like, that's such a huge setback. And it's just, you know, you need to be ready for heroes to die, but, like, losing a hero in a shitty way always just sucks, right? I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. It's never a situation you like to be in. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. God! Fucking Tarantism! That would have been a kill! Fuck! Oh, that's a meltdown. Because it fucking crit. He got fragile? Fuck! It's not the run, man. God damn, dude. This road cannot be walked alone. What a Fucking joke, man. 
Uh, I don't like the torches. I'm only doing this to people want me to do this. Uh, double field surgeon pro could have used that earlier, but you know. Yeah, Boudicca being clutch today. This whole team's been clutch. It's been a very clutch team. To be totally honest, right? But just suit them. Uh, there you go. There's, there's safety of slumber working for you. Just so unfortunate, man. I haven't raged that hard in this game in a fucking while, man. I like closed my eyes and was like, if I hear the death blow sound, I'm gonna fucking rage. Ugh. Well done. I mean, this should show you how effective this team is, right? Like, this is a really solid team. The fact that we've made it this far is, is impressive. But still, man. What a fucking annoyance. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Uh, I got blood there. I mean, we'll take misstep. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good on somebody. I doubt it, though. I'm thinking it's Vestal, man. That's probably my best bet. Vestal with, like, consecrations would be pretty good. I'm concerned that she won't have the damage we need to hit the back ranks, but I guess that's just gonna be between Boudica and and Boxcar, right? Like that's gonna be what we have to deal with. Misstep Vel uh, I don't know if I want misstep on Vest. I don't know if I want it though, because I still might need her to deal judgment damage, right? Like I might need her for that back row damage. Okay, Cosmic Hater is great. That's amazing. Jinx is awesome. Thank you. I'll, I'll take those. You have memoried confessor. I probably do have a memory confessor. You're absolutely right. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Yeah, she's memoried. I, I'd have to spend half my relics to swap her. Uh Who do I take, guys? Somebody get I my brain isn't working here. Somebody give me an answer, please. Warlock with stars. I don't think I can do it. I don't think we can't we I gotta sw either way I gotta swap somebody, right? Flag? Well like maniac flag? Rank three maniac flag? I mean, that's an option. Again, I gotta swap. Duelist? No, Duelist would definitely wouldn't be the best idea here. I gotta swap him the Maniac. I gotta either swap Confessor or swap Maniac or swap. Like, whoever I have to, I have to pay fucking a shit ton of relics to do. Crusader? I don't know where Crusader would fail on this team. I wouldn't be able to do damage with them. I can't put him in the front two ranks. He'd have to be Banneret. Again, I'd need to swap him. Do I have Flag Memoried? No. But he won't be able to do... He'd only be able to do Punish. He wouldn't be able to do Acid Rain or anything. Which I guess is fine. He can just do Punish. Nah, Vestal's locked in as a Confessor. I'd have to spend 30, half my Relics to swap her. No, I don't... There's no risk of death at this point. We're going to the Mountain. Can't get death on the Mountain. You have to switch past anyway, choose Vestal. I think Vestal is the best path for us. No, we need healing. We lost our healer, so we have to we have to take a healer. For wealth no longer has meaning. If I can't I can't risk it for self heals. It has to be I have to have some I think we just gotta go for 
I, a cultist isn't going to do it. He's just not going to do it. He's going to get us killed, unfortunately. All right, we're going to go for Vestal. We're just going to swap her. It's fine. This sucks, but... Mastery. Are we going to go Wanderer? Do I go Seraph or do I go Wanderer? I mean, Seraph gives us better Consecration value. I don't really care about the Mantra heal. We still get the damage. She's going to stay in rank 3. This gives us better Consecrations. We can set the Consecration. I think I'm going to go Seraph. We have no dot removal of this now. Maybe I just go with this. Maybe I don't care about Consecration of Fortitude. Just care about Consecration of Light. Mantra lets us heal with it. Could also go Divine Comfort instead of Mantra. Probably going to be what we go with here. Um, I mean, don't really care too much about that, though it would be nice. There's something we would rather upgrade. No, we'll go administrations. It's going to be good for us. All right. Why is all my food moving? It's fucking annoying. Source of conviction. If it... Cleared consecration cooldowns. We more could use it, but it might be OP. It probably would be OP. All right. Anyway, we are going to the mountain, everybody. So if the, you are new here or not new here, whatever the case is, there is a tradition we have when we go to the mountain. That is, I like to do a game giveaway. Um, hopefully, the game giveaway thing uh, works now. I don't know why it wouldn't, but... Um... Yeah. All right. Let's... Guys, I haven't opened up the game giveaway yet. <laughs> I tell you, you're always too early with that. <laughs> All, right. Uh, all right. Let's open it up. All right. Now the game giveaway is open. Exclamation error for a chance to get in. So my way of saying thank you for all being here. I appreciate y'all being here. Anybody that's welcome to join, you do have to be following in order to actually win the prize. Uh, I, uh, what has he got that's blocking that? Uh, Melophobic. Uh, I don't think we're getting rid of that. I would love to be able to get rid of that more but it's not gonna happen so everybody else is gonna get speedy and you're just gonna sit here and struggle i guess so deal with that uh relationships uh junior Boudica. let's see if we can fix you guys nope i can't because you have resolutes apparently and terrify okay all right that's a good good start for us Can I get rid of Resolutes? Nope, because it is the second one. Hypochondriac is the second one. Fragile is the last one. I can't get rid of any of my fucking negative shit. Because I'm pretty much stuck with it. So let's go ahead and fix up the Wainwright. This will at least help a little bit, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I just work here at this point. such a little thing. Okay, two people are immune to burn, which is going to be very helpful for us in this fight. Uh, can I fix anybody else's relationship? Uh, Zakai and Boudica. Let's try that one. Nope. Okay, that was a six. That was awesome. Can't fix that one. That one's good. 28% chance, 33% chance. Do I have any pipe weed? Nope, do I have poetry? Nope. Uh, Summer of Amorous Ballads? That shouldn't be blocked, right? Who has the highest chance? Boudica and Junior. Let's try that one. Nope. Okay, guess we're doing that one. Plus six, though. That's awesome. 
That gets us in a really good spot. That gets them all the way up there. That's really good. Yeah, no pipe weed, unfortunately, so. I can try for a songbook of touching Durgis. Does that fuck anything? That one would potentially go down. But I think we'd be able, I think this would actually be oh it won't work on him, no. So it'd only work on one person. Probably not worth the cost, honestly. Um No, it's probably not worth the cost, I would say. Let's grab some laudanum. We'll just uh, toss that on, just get our stress down before the final fight. And I think we'll go ahead and call it a day. Money is an issue. It is an issue. Indeed it is. All right, go for the mountain. Bastard's Beacon Mountain. Act two. Can we do it? I don't know if we can do it, but we can try. Horse. Blind. Thankfully, she's not giving Boudicca blind, but she is on Sanctuary giving... Oh, god damn it, dude. Uh, Boudicca's fine we could hack we could blind a junior that's not the end of the world but sanctuary being forced over divine comfort isn't great i mean i i guess we take this i need the heal divine comfort is nice but it's i need the i need the solid straight up heal i, I can't think of what i can take off administrations maybe we can deal with the burn just naturally, everybody has fairly high burn resist. Maybe we just kind of deal with that. And we just outpace it with the regen, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm very much not confident in this fight at this point. Um, but we'll see. Gotta do our best. Gotta come back from the rage. Let's see what we can manage here. This, this run has been absolutely against us, to say the least. Beacon his own. Oh no, they're. Uh, I believe they don't get the ordainment, um, but they get their own buffs and stuff, so. These damage numbers are so low. What just happened? I'm gonna do this just to get rid of the block. There we go. On to the next. Supply burn to attackers. They do, yeah. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Uh, the source but yeah they they are the things ordaining people right it would it would be a little odd if they could do that all right hey you know what we still made it this far i'm happy that we did that definitely not as smooth as we wanted it to go but is it ever feel like the voice yeah it's i'm just upset that i i don't mind losing a hero that happens especially on bastard speaking it's just the way we lost her like was so just like uh come on game Yeah, I don't know if we win it. I mean, the the thing about the Bastards Beacon bosses is they I mean, they just they absolutely take it from you, man. They are uh, I've only done this once. I've only taken on Act 2 once on Bastards Beacon and it was off camera and I I barely did it. Like, barely. Um, so it, it's definitely going to be a rough one for us. I don't think I care about the... Take the holy water here. All right. Oh, the... Actually, you know what? No, we don't take the holy... The holy water is nice, but the blind is a bigger issue than the combo generally. I'm also going to swap this for that. 
Reason being is that if he does get knocked back, I want him to be able to get himself up front. Uh, Hellion might also need a similar treatment. I don't know why we're quoting her on Plague Doctor. <laughs> Definitely is a her. <laughs> Is revealed. Also in the fight, yeah, it's a collector fight, yeah. Only infernal nihility and non-existent. Alright. The seething sigh. Alright, Mr. Sai. Uh let's try and remember what the buffs are on this guy. So apply on hit. Oh, okay, mouse moves. Apply on hit three burn, ten percent chance. When target is burning, it ignores block and move resist piercing. Sundering Exaltation reduces the flame. The fight gets an additional 40% max HP, 40% damage, 2 speed, all ordainment stuff, and then more burn dealt. Uh, and yes, it does get resistance piercing. Does anybody remember, does anybody know what the damage number is that I need now? It's 6% of the max health, right? I believe is what it is. So, let me get out the calculator here just to make sure I'm doing this right. So the back lung is... Uh, I did that wrong. Yep. It's like 13 damage. And the front lung is... Was that 280? 17? Is it 17 and 13? Oof, duh. That's rough if that's the case. That 12 didn't do it. There's that blind. An unavoidable end. Trance isn't proc on the first one. We may have to eat a Sundering here. I'm actually gonna have to use this already just to get the damage I need. I mean, that's fucking insane. The enemy weakens and wanes. We've got the Jinx now, which is great, I suppose. There we go, those are the hits I need. I should probably be saving those for the lungs though, right? Like the lungs are a higher priority. Got, our, got some burns going there though, which is great. 17. Okay, 17 did it. That's good. Sixteen damage though it is, yeah. down like immediately but getting a lot of dot here which is good get the heal now because then we'll have time for it to pace back up later We could do command to remove the blind, yeah. I'm just gonna do this. It just tips down the other lung and does a little bit of damage on this one, it's fine. Yeah, it's enjoying the back lung. Okay, front lung, finally. I'm gonna let her whack here. And we'll let Mana Arms deal up here. 
Though that may actually be a bad idea because it's a lot more damage up front. Yeah, actually that's a terrible idea. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that because I, I goofed a little bit there. Yeah, we are gonna get deep breaths soon. We've resisted most of the burn though, which is really, really good for us. So that's good. Down to 173 health, which is solid, man. Yeah, not enough damage there. That's gonna shuffle her. Nope, oh, she resisted X. Okay, my alarm is going off for some reason. Doing pretty good. So far, it's going good, but this fight will get harder the longer it goes. So, that vulnerable is pretty good for us because it just stops the block generation, which is nice. The small foundation of yeah, so 12 isn't enough. Uh, that should be enough. Yes, it can use deep breath right now, absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna retribution here, since it wants to just... There it is. Resolute, please. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Okay. Excellent crit. Wow, we got lucky with that shallow breath. That very lucky with that shallow breath. First time we've had that proc, so... This is not good. We are now in very scary territory, to say the least. It's going, it's going well enough. Tarantism actually coming in clutch for us there. That's kind of gnarly. 16, not enough damage to proc it. Okay, it can only do shallow breath now, so that's good. Exhaustion takes hold. Eighteen's enough to get rid of the token. It's good to know. Let's 
Sickening Science has done a lot of work. I don't know if it's done that much, but it's definitely helped us. Double, so 14, that's not enough damage. That's okay. Line, we'll go ahead and get the Mind Comfort going here. Okay, take, we take those. We don't complain about those. Uh, I let Mana Arms deal with the Lung. I use her to do more damage. Okay, no dots though. I don't think we've gotten a single burn so far, or at least if we have, they've been very few and far between. Which, I mean, that is definitely helping us. That is very unfortunate. That sucks. That's just, I don't know, what, what do you do in that situation? I don't think there was anything we could have done there. Just kind of is what it is. The unfortunate thing about killing one of the lungs is that we uh, end up in that situation, right? Uh, man, that feels bad when that happens. Now there's a burn. Get a nice hit, heal out of this, along with a big hit. 51 health left. Yeah, at least we dealt with the back lung, so like him being out of commission now isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, obviously I don't want to melt down here, but... Could be worse. Problem is, I think I'm too focused on healing now. I don't think I think we lose this. If I'm gonna be entirely honest. Unless we get a resolute or something, I don't think we win this. I, I think it's gonna be close, but I I get the feeling that somebody's gonna die, and then Vestal is gonna be SOL here. Cause she won't be able to do anything when she's pushed into rank two. She won't be able to do any damage. That's a fucking lucky ass miss. That's for sure. Uh, so I'm not able to do much here. Problem is, I like I can't get the damage here. You know, like I can't heal. I have to. I have to do this. I'm not putting any damage in the fucking lung. You know, like. Or into the body, not the lung. I should say. And he dies here. First check. Yep. A blast. I think that's it, guys. Has claimed its doom. Um, I don't think we win this. I'm definitely gonna try, but I don't. I don't think it's possible. It's possible. It's just I gotta do 30 damage plus two death door checks on the, this fucking thing. I just have so many turns. Uh, it, we're cooked, guys. I'm, let's be real here. Very lucky, Sundering. Dodge. Resolute? Yeah. Oop. I just would like it to go through all its turns quicker so I could just fucking play. resisting the blights, which is definitely not helping us right now. Fucking hell. I mean, good job, Vestal. Just surviving them all, man. Oh, 
god for fucking, um... Alright guys, it's going to literally be by the skin on our fucking teeth. I don't, I don't think we win. Yeah, I have to hit it twice, it gets two turns. I don't think I have a heal here anymore, I think I'm out. Okay, I need to adrenaline rush here. Nope, GG. GG, guys, that's it. through this gloaming murk. <sighs> oh man, that actually almost has me in tears. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, um, I don't know if I have the energy to do more of this veteran shit, man. This is just fuck. See how I feel on Thursday, but I don't think I can do this again. That's so wow. much energy. Uh no, I, that's the thing, man. Once I'm on the something, I kind of have to do it. Otherwise, I just get mad at myself more for not doing it. Ugh. Life of a content creator. If I don't keep doing it, my views drop. I don't want my views to drop. Ugh. <laughs> uh, man, that fucking sucks, dude. I'm trying to think what I could have changed there to uh like what what difference i mean obviously plague doctor not dying would have been a big one Richard, anyway i i don't know if i'll be taking a break from it i gotta finish it oh i'm just trying to think what what i could have changed or what i could have done different i'm sure there was a play i could have made that would have Maybe a, a different divine comfort or something, or... There had to be a way to win that. I think there was a, a moment where I spent too many turns healing. Trying to get myself back in a position. I maybe should have eaten an early sundering. And just gone for the damage. Because we're talking the difference of like 15, 20 damage, right? If, I, if I'd if i done that, well, not even. We, I mean, we got it down to talking the difference of two hits, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, administrations probably would have saved us, saved us there. I think that was probably it. What did we not use on her? We, well, obviously Sanctuary. Administrations might have been the better call. I mean, Divine Grace helped us out. But I don't think we needed Comfort. We only used Comfort, like, once. I think Administrations would have been the better call there. And then, um... Yeah, not using the blood to hit the body when I wasn't in danger. That was another thing. I was too early. Like, I got that big 42 hit at the beginning. But did that screw me? Because I could have just chipped that damage down. Frontline attack for Vessel really screwed you. I just didn't have to, I mean, what, what else options did I have with the negative relationship that only put me down to four slots? I couldn't really take one of the heels off. I needed, I like, I need administrations and or grace. And I probably needed both of them. I guess I didn't need the consecration of light. Maybe that was what I screwed up with. Maybe I should just gone wonder and not done consecration. And, uh, and then just focused her on support. The Consecration was nice, but it, I mean, we actually didn't end up using it the whole time. 
So maybe that was a... Four blights in a row was the last nail in the proverbial coffin. Yeah, I don't like relying on sickening silence for the Psy in particular. I've done it a few times, and every single time it seems to resist way more than you think it would. You can amaze something. No, but I, I mean, it's part of this is like being able to look back at those decisions and go, how can I change them? Because for, for Bastard's Beacon, you have to think about this stuff. If you don't, like, the difference between two or three different plays is, is the difference between winning or not. Also hinder your conviction. That's also valid, Maxwell, yeah. Yeah, I, I my conviction generation was based off of my, my consecrations, which I wasn't using very often. I should have just gone a uh, wonder. Should have just kept her kept her wonder and gone with it. In fact, I probably could have just stuck her with Confessor, honestly, still. And it would have been fine. It would have it would have lined me up for more heals, maybe. And more damage. If I'd run her as Wanderer, my convictions being up more would have given me more reliable damage. But, again, it's all iffy iffy. Anyway, let's do the game giveaway. Um, appreciate y'all being here and hanging out. Sorry for the ragey moments there. It sucks when it happens, but uh, it just... Oh, my God. This is so dumb, like... It's, it's like, oh, we're trying to pick a winner, but none of these people are following. That's not true. I know that's not true. Um, all right, I guess we'll do it the manual way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it's just ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Is it meant to call your age? You're fine. Yeah, I know. I just don't like doing it on camera. Pick a number between one and eleven. It always, it always feels bad doing it on camera, you know, because people like to judge. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's a cry if you're still here. If not, that's okay. Uh, GG on the win. Uh, let me go ahead and copy your name here and put it in my Discord. You're here. Sweet. If you could shoot me uh, a whisper or if you want to join over on uh, join the Discord, you're welcome to. Uh, shoot me a message. If not, I'll shoot you one in the next couple days. Um, but if you message me, I will much more likely to remember. Congrats on winning a free game. All right, everybody, we're going to go find somebody to raid. I appreciate y'all hanging out. As always, it does mean the